Okay, I'm here with Dr. Schwell, and we are going to discuss how PA programs can potentially use your videos, Dr. Schwell, MedCram videos, um, to benefit their students and their program. And you're a great person to ask about this because you've spent most of your career in medical education. You've been the medical director for a PA program in the past. So from an administrator or a professor's perspective, how can they use your videos to benefit their students? Well, Carl, I'll, I see it as three different ways that these videos can benefit uh, PA programs. The first one is the favorite of mine, and that is the flipped classroom approach, where they're given an assignment, they're given a video to watch before the day of class. They get the information explained to them clearly, like we do, and at the speed of understanding. So they may have a few questions, and they show up to class the next day, and those questions can be refined, they can be answered by the professor. And I think there's a number of advantages with this type of approach. Number one, it takes a lot of the heavy lifting off the professor to get that information, the raw information out there. And it also allows the professor to use his precious time in the classroom uh, for, for better understanding and for refinement of these principles. It also allows them to use that time to perhaps do a case presentation or even if it's available, a simulation lab of some sort. The second way is just like you would use any kind of textbook. So kind of an outside reading for those students that want a little bit more information. They can use the MedCram videos to get more information and to learn the topics that they are deficient in. And then finally, the third way is, you know, it's difficult nowadays to get professors who are really competent in the areas that they are supposed to be teaching because there's so many schools, there's so many students, and we just don't have all the professors to teach all the topics. That's where MedCram videos can really step up and fill that void. Because if, if you as a school or as a medical director or as a, as a program don't fill that void for your students, your students will go out there and try to fill it for themselves. Better for the program to fill that and to uh, apply and give them the education that they deserve. And that's a great segue into another question I have, uh, which is, there's more and more medical content on the internet every day. And there's a lot of different options, um, like you said, where students can go to um, learn something for the first time or augment their learning. What makes your videos, uh, MedCram videos, different than what they might find uh, elsewhere online? Well, when you're looking online for, uh, for medical education, number one, you need to get medical education from people who are actually practicing medicine. So you might see a, a number of videos being produced by a number of different types of people. Maybe they're medical students, maybe, maybe they're PhDs or things. The question really is, is, is it being produced by people who are actually practicing uh, that, that medicine? Uh, the other thing I would mention, uh, Kyle, is recently there was a study that was done on COVID-19. It was a, a group out of Poland that looked at a Oxford University tool called DISCERN. And they looked at the number of different COVID-19 YouTube videos in terms of medical education. And they applied that tool to those videos. And I'm happy to say that MedCram scored the number one spot, actually two of its videos tied for number one. And that is a peer reviewed publication that you can see in the journal. So I think the uh, tool has been applied and I think that MedCram uh, measures up to that type of uh, scrutiny. One of the things that was my experience as a PA student, and of course, uh, Dr. Schwell, you were one of my professors during my training in PA school, was just the amount of information that we were expected to learn in such a short time. You know, we have basically one year of didactic classroom time to learn everything we need to know for our clinical rotations. And eventually, you know, most PA students don't go on to do a residency. So it's a lot to learn in a short amount of time. Um, one of the things I love about your teaching style is how you really draw in those clinical elements and really try to make it practical and uh, get a, give a, a very valuable clinical perspective on what you teach. Um, is that something you, you really think about and strive for with your videos or does it just kind of happen that way organically? Well, I think I would try to make it be second nature, but I noticed that when we're talking about very abstract things like for instance talking about let's just make up a topic here but sodium uh, comes to mind and sodium uh, metabolism and you know hyponatremia it can get very dry because you're just talking about numbers and how fast you should correct numbers and oftentimes i'll interject and put in an actual case that i was dealing with and i think that's something unique 
about when you have an actual clinician that is teaching you, they can tell you what the real life world situations are in relation to the theoretics that you're being taught. So you see why it's important. There's a life attached to this. There's people that come down with these situations and it, it seems to hold better in the student's memory when they are learning it. And uh, that was something that we were always taught in medical school was to apply it. If you see something that's happening on your clinical rate rotation, go home and learn about it. It's going to stick much better. What's been the feedback so far from the PA programs and the nurse practitioner programs that have utilized MedCram um, as either part of their curriculum or, as, like you said, kind of an extracurricular video option for students that want to go and learn more? Well, it's been uh, tops. I mean, five out of five stars. I've had students come up to me at conferences and meetings telling me that MedCram got them through their training, uh, whether it's respiratory therapists, PAs, medical students. They said without MedCram, they would have had, they wouldn't have been able to get through or they would have had a, a very difficult time. Um, and I've had professors who have been former students of mine that are now uh, teaching other students and they love to use MedCram as a tool in their classroom to help with understanding.